Hello everyone, welcome to Xiao Qian's 7 days for Mandarin pronunciation. As this is the very first time of our class, let me introduce myself first. 你好,我是小千. Hi, my name is Xiao Qian. Well, uh, how do you feel about learning Chinese? A lot of people say that learning Mandarin is really difficult and confusing, but uh, well, uh, actually it's not that tough. Because, and you don't have to worry about it because you have two friends to help you. They are Pinyin and Tone. Pinyin and Tone, they are two basic components of Chinese Mandarin pronunciation and Chinese language is all about pronunciation. Um, let me introduce you uh, our whole lesson plan. Um, uh, seven days for Chinese uh, Mandarin pronunciation consists of seven days of classes and it's divided into three parts. Today we are going to talk about uh, the definition and meaning of pinyin and tone and from tomorrow we are going to uh, directly go into the vowels and consonants and it might take four days. And uh, finally we are going to talk about tone. All right. And seven days later, hopefully, uh, Chinese language is no longer that difficult or confusing because you are ready to learn more words and phrases and sentences of Chinese, okay? All right, let's start with pinyin first. What is pinyin? Pinyin is Chinese phonetic system for pronouncing Chinese characters. Pin is spell. In is sound, so is spelling sound. And why do you need pinyin? Let me give you an example. Uh, Chinese characters are pictographs, which means that most of Chinese characters are from picture, like this. And uh, it is how, and it means good. The left side of this character is a woman, and the right side is her baby son. It doesn't look like in this way, right? But about 3,000 years ago, how used to look like this. Now it makes sense, right? Right. Uh, Chinese character has uh, their own history. They're really beautiful and interesting. But basically, they are mute. It means that you don't have any clue in there how to pronounce it. So that's why you need pinyin. And now you know how to pronounce this with pinyin of the Chinese character. It's how, right? Okay, uh, there are a couple of things that you have to remember about pinyin. First of all, each Chinese character has one syllable, and that syllable consists of three parts, initial, final, and tone. Initial, consonants, final, vowels, and tone. This little thing is tone, and we're going to talk about this very soon. The second thing that you have to remember is that pinyin is not English, nor French. Uh, even though it is written in alphabetic letters, but it is totally different from how you read English. Let me give you an example. I introduced my name as Xiao Qian, and XI sounds Xi, not Zai like in xylophone, and QI sounds Xi like in cheese or chance. It is different, right? And the second example, these two words combined together mean friends, and this is the pinyin of this word. And how would you pronounce it? Peng Yu? No, definitely not. ENG is ung, like in uncle, so ung, peng, and yo is like in yoho, that yo. So it's peng yo, not peng yu. Right? Pinyin is not English. All right, then uh, let's move on to tone. I will briefly explain the definition of tone because we are going to talk about this at the very last time of our class, right? Okay, um, first of all, there are four types of tones in Chinese language. First one, ah. Uh, second one, ah. Uh, third one, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. So four types of tones in Chinese language. And tone is one of the most tricky part in learning Chinese because a different tone with the same syllable can have different meaning. Let me give you some examples. This four ma uh, is, uh, has the same pinyin, 
but it has a different tone, right? And they have different meaning. For example, ma with the uh, tone number one means mom, whereas ma with the third tone means horse. Isn't that funny? Are you freaked out already? But please don't. Once you get used to the tone, you will see that this is the beauty part of Chinese language. Because speaking Chinese uh, could be like singing a song. Promise me. I, prom I promise you. Sorry. Okay, uh, I have a funny story of my own experience. Um, it's when I started to learn Chinese in China. I think I was sort of a good student, so I had a lot of questions in class. And each time I raised my hand and asked the teacher a lot of questions. But I didn't know why, because the teacher was always embarrassed. Uh, she even blushed whenever I asked her question. Later on, I uh, knew the reason, and it was me. My problem with the tone. Uh, let's take a look at these two sentences. 我想问你 我 means I 你 is you 我想 I want to 问你 ask you a question. But you know what? I pronounce this 问 as 问 with a different tone and its meaning turns out to be I want to kiss you not I want to ask you a question. Now you see why the teacher was so embarrassed when I asked her question. And imagine how much I embarrassed too when I noticed it. So uh, please be careful with the tone. Tone is really important in Chinese language because different tone can have different meaning. All right. Uh, okay, today we talked about the definition of pinyin and tone. And from tomorrow, we are going to uh, talk about vowels and consonants. Okay, 再见. See you next time.